it's starting. The game's on, they're about to kick off. You better come in here, you're gonna miss it. God, I wish I had a son. comic book colorist? Sure, honey. Dad, you didn't even look up. I could be standing here stitched stark naked. But you aren't, right? Oh, is this the perfect picture of a comic book colorist on her first day at the office? <laughs> Mom, one. Dad, zero. So, Mom, do you think I'm gonna make a good impression? Darling, I'm gonna give you the same advice I gave you on your first day of kindergarten. If you wanna make a good impression, be yourself. And don't bite anybody. Oh, great, now I have nothing to tell her. <laughs> okay, I see you guys have to work. Oh, and when you sit down, cross your legs so the boys don't see your underpants. <laughs> well, that's still good advice. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so nervous. I guess it's because this is like the first, you know, adult, really grown-up job I've ever had. Coloring in a comic book. <laughs> well, honey, it's, uh, it's gonna be fun. You and I going to work together, it kind of reminds me of uh, when I used to take you fishing. We never went fishing, Dad. Sure we did, you were seven or eight. You're making this up. <laughs> No, I'm not. Picture's right here in the scrapbook. There, look, look there. That's not me. That's not me either. That damn photo place. Well, you, you want to go fishing sometime? Nah, I hate fishing. Yeah, me too. Who are those people? Oh, do you want to take a look and see if I'm doing this right, Dad? Oh, wait. What do I call you when we're at work together? I mean, I can't call you Dad. Can I, Dad? Well, if you, if you want to call me Bob, just call me Bob. Okay. Bob. <laughs> Hi, Bob. 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 <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Just stick with Dad. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Dad. Morning, Iris. Bob, what do you want done with your body after you're dead? Fine, fine, thanks. And you? Come on, Bob. Cremation, burial, freeze just the head, what? I haven't even had my coffee yet. This morning, my husband told me he wants to be buried. Really? Cool. She means after he's dead, Chad. <laughs> oh, well, big whoop. <laughs> We're trying to fill out our wills. I hate the idea of being worm food, but you got to do something with your carcass. Don't want to be propped up on my couch. <laughs> TV tuned to Nick at night so my body decays into an oozing mass. Then through sheer force of will, I'll... I'll reanimate my grisly corpse, make it shamble hideously through the building, causing everyone in the Drexel Garden Apartments to scream in abject horror. You know, a, a lot of kids your age don't have any goals. Do they always talk about stuff like this? 
I hardly ever sleep. <laughs> hey, who's that sitting at the new colorist desk, huh? <laughs> She's a cutie, isn't she, Bob? But wait just a gosh darn minute. These two look alike. Huh. Could it be we have a bit of nepotism going on here? Just kidding. I love it. <laughs> uh, Har Harlan, the, the McKay's, we aren't real squeezers. <laughs> So listen, Trish, let me tell you the way things work around here. Open door policy. You need anything, you're welcome to go right into my office. I'll be... Get out of there! I was just borrowing a paper clip. Borrowing or stealing? Borrowing, sir, with the hope of one day owning my own. <laughs> I'm keeping my eye on you, Lutz. Don't, uh, don't think of this as a place to meet guys. <laughs> anyway, anything you need, Trish, anything at all, you just ask your Uncle Harlan. Okay, thank you. Greg. Oh, uh, uh, Uncle Harlan? Yeah, Trish. <laughs> Maybe it's too soon for me to ask, but... Well, I was just wondering. This, well, this Mazza, the she-devil... Yeah, huh? No, really, forget it. I don't even know what I was thinking. <laughs> no, wait, Trish. Come on, we're a team. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> well, in this panel... Is that what you called him? She's smart as a whip. Well, um, Mazza has her clothes off for no reason. Oh, there's a reason. She's taking a shower. Well, I know, but see, she just took a bath up here. She's a clean she-devil. Well, I, I guess what I'm saying is, I know this is just my first day, and I'm probably all wrong, but isn't this just a little, maybe, I don't know, a, uh, unnecessary? Hmm. Unnecessary. That's an interesting observation. <laughs> Tell you what, let us talk it over. Bobber? Yeah, she's out of here. <laughs> no, no, she's not. You heard her, Bob. Unnecessary? What the hell is that? I'll tell you what that is. That's the rantings of a radical feminist, pro-censorship, Bible-thumping, book-burning, reactionary commie pinko. <laughs> You, you hate everybody, don't you, honey? <laughs> All right, Bob, I'm sorry I'm backing off. Trisha asked an innocent question, and she deserves a straight answer. So get over there and make one up. I'm not gonna lie to my daughter. The deadline is 5 o'clock this afternoon, Bob. <clears throat> honey, uh... <laughs> See, the, the reason that, that Masa uh, showers with greater frequency than than other people is because she comes from a, a planet uh, where there's a, a, a higher indigenous uh, moisture content. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, and she has to, uh, she has to maintain that level of hydration in our uh, comparatively uh, arid, arid climate. Enough said? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that clears it up. I feel like such an idiot. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it, honey. Huh. But guys, just one more little thing. She's still talking, isn't she, Bob? How come here on page seven, and then again later here on page 26, and then even here on the subscription card, all the Earth girls are showering together? Oh, I'm being a big pest, aren't I? <laughs> no, 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 it's your first day. It is my first day. <laughs> Never mind. Zip. It's just that... What? I don't know how to say this, but look at how much flesh tone I've gone through. I mean, do you know how many almost bare buttocks there are in this story alone? I counted 23. And so it begins. First they're counting buttocks, next thing you know, they're burning catcher in the rye. Uh, I've been listening, and I have something to ask. Now, uh, when you say... Buttocks, do you mean 23 individual buttocks or 23 pair of buttocks? Because if you're using buttock in the singular, then, then the figure would really have to end in an even number. Otherwise, you're left with one buttock unaccounted for. Does anyone want to send me for some scotch tape or anything? All right, the revolution is over. 
Let's all get back to work. Oh, sure. I mean, I'm getting back to work. I don't want to be the monkey in the machinery. I'm the rookie. What do I know? I mean, if I'm getting on anybody's you know, nerves, just tell me to shut up. Shut up. Oh, ha, ha, very funny. <laughs> but, you know, really, don't you think this is a little too much? I mean, am I the only one here who's a little uncomfortable with this? Perhaps you'd be more comfortable selling potato skins at the mall. Oh, I'm in trouble, right? <laughs> No, Trish, you're not in trouble. I hear what you're saying. I respect it, really. And now I have a little advice for you. Lighten up! I can't lighten up. Bob. I, actually, the, the, whole, the whole family has, has trouble with that. Well, I, I don't want to get you guys upset. Oh, great. Now, look, I'm getting all upset. I, I just I have to say what I believe. I, I mean, you told me you wanted to hear what I thought. I didn't mean it, Trisha. I just think it's wrong. I mean, I, I don't think it's fair for you to show the kids who buy these comic books that this is what women look like. And I'm sorry, if, if this is the only way that you can draw women, then I just don't want to color it. Well, I don't want to photocopy it. <laughs> and I don't want to paste it up. And I don't want to deliver it. And I'm out of cigarettes. <laughs> oh, sisters. I, I want to thank you for your support and acknowledge you for, for having the courage to stand up for what you believe in. Oh, I'm Trisha. And I'm, I'm proud to know you. I'm Janae. I'm Bonnie. I'm Deborah. I'm out of cigarettes. <laughs> and who are you? I'm supposed to have my wrist x-rayed. Is this the Blix building? That's on Kinsey, you jerk. <laughs> then does anybody have an aspirin? Yeah. Swap you for a cigarette. Oh, oh women helping women. Oh, this is beautiful. I mean, that's why we're all on this elevator. Because we care about what's right. I mean, we were willing to give up our jobs for what's right. I mean, we don't care that there's a recession going on. We don't care that next week is the first of the month and our rent is due. I mean, we don't care that we just lost all our, hey, our medical and dental benefits. <laughs> all we care about is what's right. You know. The, that, the right thing. <laughs> What's right? The, the, you know, principles and... Oh. Going up. Harlan, I'm, I'm gonna go down and get them. Why, Bob? You know they're gonna come crawling back with their tails between their legs. Harlan, you don't know my daughter, do you? She, she's a very determined, idealistic young woman. And once she gets an idea in her head, she, she won't give it up. Dad, we're back. But she is flexible. <laughs> you, you all right? Oh, yeah, Dad. I need the job. We all do. Well, it's good to have you back. Uh, Iris, did you get your cigarettes? Yeah. I got a gold-plated lighter, too. <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. All right, Harlan, they're back. Let, let's be gracious and... And don't gloat. Bob, for you to make a statement like that just shows how little you really know about me. Of course I'm gonna gloat. <laughs> hey, way to stand up for your beliefs and just crumble, gals. How long did you hold out? 45 seconds? What's the matter? Couldn't find the express elevator? <laughs> no, really, girls. It's great to have you back. <laughs> and he... And he, he, he means that. <laughs> Dad, I really feel bad about this. I mean, you went out on a limb to get me this job, and all I do is come in and cause a lot of trouble. Honey, your mother and I taught you to be proud and strong and to stand up for what you believe in. And little did I realize that, that one day it would turn around and bite me in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Albie, go down to the lobby. OK, Iris. Albie! There's more? 
<laughs> Wait for a guy named Nick Sherbula, and when he gets there, bring him up. Right. Lobby, wait, bring up. Lobby, wait, bring up. Lobby, wait, bring up. Right. <laughs> Ooh, Iris. Nick Sherbula? Who's that? A new love toy? Chad, you're forgetting. I'm not one of those cute, sexually active golden girls. I'm just a mean old lady with an exacto knife. You know, I dreamed about you last night. <laughs> Nick Sherbula is the groundskeeper at New Comiskey Park. I finally decided where I want to spend eternity. Oh, really? And where's, uh, where's that? The foul line between third and home plate. <laughs> you, you want to be buried on the foul line? Not buried, you ghoul. I'll be cremated. Then I'll mix my ashes with the lime so before the game they can roll me out. So, so you'll actually be the foul line? Someday, when Robin Ventura slides into home in a cloud of dust, he'll slide into a cloud of me. I'm gonna fire up my VCR for that. How's the cover art for the She-Devil story? Oh, I, I, finished, uh, I finished roughing it out. Oh, Bob, you've really outdone yourself, mi compadre. It's dynamic, it's lyrical, it's, it's very tasteful. I love the way her nays pop out at you and practically black your eyes. <laughs> you, know, like, you know, I used, I used the, the force perspective. Yeah, well, force away, Bob. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Go for the final. I, I can't do it. Can't do what? I, I, I can't draw the nanes. Why not? Because my daughter is going to color this. I mean, what you going to think of me? Oh, no. They've gotten to you, haven't they, Bob? Well, they, they did have a point. I, I mean, couldn't, couldn't Mazda still be the, the most evil force in the universe, you know, in a, a, a knee-length skirt and a blue, blue blazer? <laughs> Uh, maybe some, something, uh, something like this. What, what do you think? Oh, my God, Bob, that's my mother! <laughs> You've drawn a picture of mother! <laughs> Glad I didn't show any nanies. <laughs> This one's precious. I mean, these are great, Dad. I mean, you really made Mazza look like an alien who respects herself. Well, I, you know, I realize I've made it more, a little more difficult for you to, to color, because as you can see, she's, she's wearing a, a very smart tweed. <laughs> Isn't that gonna get a little warm on Venus? When she gets there, she'll change into these culottes. There's Iris Frankel, sir, the one who looks like... Well, there's Iris Frankel, sir. Nick Shibula. Glad to meet you, Iris Frankel. Mrs. Frankel, I'm told you have a donation for the park. Yep, you're looking at it. What? I want to have my ashes scattered at the ballpark. Forget it, it's disgusting. Hundred bucks. You want the usual lime job? You bet. You, you mean to say that that other people have requested this? Oh, yeah. Almost the entire pitcher's mound at old Comiskey was made up of a VFW group from Calumet City. There you go. Now I'll be with the go-go socks forever. Maybe one day a rookie will step up to the plate. Bags loaded, two outs, game on the line. Maybe he'll power one on the foul line. And I'll give it just a little nudge to make it fair. Maybe I'll help them win the pennant. No one will know who did it. But the third base foul line will know. Because the third base foul line will be me. 
There goes one creepy old lady. <laughs> All right, you naysayers and attackers of the American dream. As I understand it, you're objecting to these women in our comic because you don't think they represent the way ordinary women really look, right? Right. Well, to prove you wrong, I'd like you to meet my attorney. Graduated Yale at the top of her class and editor of the Law Review. Sharona. Hi. Uh, you're, you're an attorney. Yeah. Oops. I think I just swallowed my gum. <laughs> what is your specialty? Tort. Oh, yeah, but I gotta limber up first. There you go. Harlan, you went out, hired a stripper, put her in a business suit, and then brought her up here to make your point, didn't you? Yes, I did, Bob. <laughs> My point is, Sharona is a real woman. So why can't Maza just look like her? Well, maybe, maybe Maza could. But you know, there, there are a lot of other women in the comic book. Uh, why couldn't uh, the Pink Zephyr look like, uh, say, uh, Vani? I guess she could. If all the women Jenkins could look like Cindy Crawford. OK, I'll give you that. If uh, Z. Wataneo could look like Janae. I know what you're going for here, Bob. You're going for some kind of a mixed, all women are different, individual human beings kind of a gimmick, right? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, and it doesn't exploit women. I don't care, Trish. I'm willing to try it. <laughs> From now on, our comic will feature women of all races and creeds. All yeah. sizes and shapes. Yeah. Women of all beliefs and political systems. Each individual, each, each very much her own, and yet bonded by their femininity. All standing proud. Sisters, side by side, naked, showering together. <laughs> Sisters, we, we make these journeys, you know, one step at a time. <laughs>